Hey guys, it's Eevee, and in today's episode, I don't know what to really call this, but yeah, I want to talk about what it's been like for me being trans, stuff like that. And yeah, let's get straight into the um video. So my life, you know, started April 13th, 2004, you know, as people starts out when they were born on a certain year, right? And then, all of a sudden, I, I, I was like normal as a boy growing up. And then, as I started to, you know, grow as, you know, as a person through the years. One day, when I was little, I decided to go to my mom, go to the bathroom, go into my mom, go in, you know, the mirror where it opens up? Yeah, that same mirror. Then decided to, you know, paint my nails, stuff like that. I think the color was red, I believe. Was red nail polish, I believe. And my actual dad did not like that. So, like, yeah, I got in trouble for it. So then I, I think from that point on, I hid that part of myself. But I did dress up occasionally. And my sister, you know, went to, it was me, Dakota, Kira, and. Of course, my other sister, Michaela, which sadly passed away due to injuries with bathtubs and stuff at a young age. So, may her, may see rest in peace. But, yeah. She was a good sister, not, not gonna lie. But, that's for another video to talk about. And yeah. So, what I've been, you know... As me growing up, I played football for four to five years. Did to my town's like partner program, whatever, whatever it's called. It was like NYFL, something like that. And like, yeah, it, it was a huge football, like pretty much. From Monday by early up to like, to, I forgot what it's called. It's been, uh, been years, but like, yeah, my last time me playing football was. Back in junior high for one year, then I stopped. Because video games got ahead. I got addicted to video games. I'm going outside much. And yeah. And then, as time went on, I started to, you know, experiment with myself. With, like, makeup, clothes, and stuff like that. And experimenting how I want to express myself through life. Right? And then, all of a sudden, you like... You just seen where one dot. As soon as my stepdad would leave, um, for work for days on end, I would dress up and like would dress his skirts, makeup stuff like that. But when he was home, I wouldn't do it because you just saying he was an abusive stepfather. So it was my actual. Like like my stepdad was not a good person. To be like he messed with the family mentally and kind of physically, and when he leave for work, I would he was truck and be really patient and look out the window, and be like, okay, that's not for me to play Minecraft or any other game I wanted to play secretly, and then I'd be like, okay, 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 yeah. And so pretty much, yeah. And then, as you know, I started to experiment. More when he was gone. And then over the years, I started to experiment. Then one day, I decided to finally wear a dress to school. And that was a very big milestone for me. Because I never would have thought that I would be able to like wear a dress to school. That's when I was freshman, back in 2018, I want to say. 2018 freshman year. That I wore a blue dress. For the very first time. I still have to have the dress to, the, to this day. And it made me feel. I was self conscious. I was like okay. What are people going to think of me. I felt at that time. And for the rest of me time being at that school. I felt. Different. I felt out of place. But I just couldn't place it. I just couldn't place it. I was thinking maybe I am trans. Maybe I am someone that is trans. 
but who knows? And yeah, and then my mom was like, he was insane. So I didn't look for an old gender fluid. So I was like, okay, didn't I am gender fluid. And throughout my whole, you know, life, until like I think 2022, I found out when I moved to where I live now, I started spamming more dresses, wearing nail polish, stuff like that. And then, then eventually, I started wearing like bras and stuff to make me feel more at ease with my gender identity. And I started to experiment more with how I correlate with my gender as I do try to do now, but not as much since basketball stuff. And yeah, and like yeah, I came out as trans. I think 2022 something. I believe, I don't think it was just 2021 I came out as trans. But I remember going on a bus with my sister and then telling my sister, we have to talk. My younger sister, I think at the time I was like 18 or 17 years old and she was like 15, 16 years old, something like that. And then I was like, you know, like, you need to talk. And then once we, once, you know, we made it home, and we walked all the way home, pretty much, or whatever. A bus stop, sorry. And then, then, we went to a room, and I was like, sister, I am trans. I want to be referred to as Evie, and you say her pronouns. You guys who are new, my real name's Evie. That's why I changed the name from Destoit to E to Trans Evie to showcase the fact that I'm a trans woman pretty much. I got that thing right over there which says I'm a trans woman, my pronouns are she her. And yeah. And over that that I was socially transitioning as, you know, Female. Well, not really at school, I don't think. But then eventually, I came out to my teacher. As, but funny story is I doing one of our class, one one of one of the classes I had. The teacher was like sending an email to your teacher, and I told my teacher, Mister E, and said, "Hey, this is how I'm feeling. Can you?" You see her pronouns for me, and yeah. Like, there always were signs I wanted to be referred to as female, because I always put my pronouns on, on, a, on like, the piece of paper, and... Yeah. Like, a lot of people, a lot of my classmates did support me, being who I was, and that made me feel way more comfortable and accepted being who I was, as a person. But I didn't think that anyone would support me and where I lived to be much because like I heard like stories where I live there's not a lot of, I don't know that that's how people were but yeah and do people out there that will support you being trans non-binary and yada 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 but yeah so a couple of years go on I graduate and they say my my not I haven't said my name legally okay I'm, I'm going to say my dead name here but Please respect that you guys are new, that my name is Evie and who will forever rule. That my name, my legal name still this day is Elijah and yeah. That's my dead name. My name now is um Evie, pretty much. And yeah. So pretty much, yeah. Like, I pretty much... Then, after a couple of years went by, me, like, coming up... When I gradu graduated from high school, a couple of years go by, I started going by seeing pronouns more. And then I started going to this program called the Transitioning Program, of course. And then, of course, you know how things are. I 
Go to the school and the teacher is no oh he wants to use see your phone and she wants to go by Evie. Okay, got it. And I was like wondering what my friends are gonna sing about it and like but they were really like, supportive. Like they like, didn't really care at all. Like, okay. There'll be it. There'll be there'll be mistakes there and there. But like yeah, like I'm like one of my friends who are females really support me. Like she's she's like that's a woman. Please respect that. Don't be a jerk. About to step in. And yeah, and she's been my number one ally and supporter for my my family has been for a longest of time. And it's been a very, very good. Then I then I think of like came out 2021 or 2022, I don't really remember then it last year during September September 8th, which was a Friday. Yeah, September 8th of last year, I started HRT for the very first time. Like, and that was a moment for me, or for any trans person for that matter. To be able to be known, and to be able to like, on HRT and I've been on HRT for about four months now and it just has been a wonderful journey of being who I always wanted to be who I always felt like I was inside a woman pretty much like I felt like yeah I, I was like okay it's gonna take some time for HRT to you know to take effect what I've been noticing is that I grow less facial hair, my skin is softer, and if I want to male to female, you will grow breasts pretty much. Your breasts will start to develop. And yeah. Like, I still get this for you still. You guys are ever wondering what, like, so you, if you're on HRT, does that still mean, like, like how it does dysphoria work. So dysphoria is when you feel like you in your body during time, when you look stuff in the mirror, if you're trans or like non-binary or something like that, you look in the mirror and you're like, yeah, I don't like the way I look. Or like, I don't like how I look more, how I look masculine. For me, when I look in the mirror sometimes, and when I'm brushing my hair because I've been doing that for, I think I did a really good job today, I don't know why, but I feel like I did a really good job on it. But yeah. And sometimes I get just like moments of where like I just feel dysphoric and just get upset, just wanna cry, and I just end up listening to like dysphoria songs. And like, yeah, it sucks. Dys dysphoria sucks. And yeah. And yeah, I've been on HRT for four months now. I think so let me see so one two yeah it's about to be five months it's about to be crazy like like it's gonna be it's about to be five months this is gonna be my first year ever on hrt for a full year which i i am hyped about i'm Excited to see the changes. I am excited to see how I'm gonna look in the future. I'm I'm definitely gonna be taking better hair, better care of my hair. Yeah, this year, one hundred percent, I did last year. And yeah, I hope you guys did enjoy this life story of of me, pretty much. Like my life was not perfect. I just got lucky and that's dedicated a whole lot of time to youtube and yeah like i love doing youtube and yeah i'm doing i'm still doing like i'm doing it as a hobby i'm not planning on doing it for like an, a job but yeah that's been you know my life so far like my trans life is i've been trans my whole life pretty much. like there's no Denying that, and I, and I surrounded myself with friends, 
and people that support me for who I am, not for who I used to be. And yeah, if you guys did enjoy this new type of content, leave a like, subscribe. I will be posting way more video videos like this. Daily, maybe daily, who knows. And yeah. I feel like I didn't well my mouse that's because I was sick, but I am feeling a whole lot better. And yeah. See guys, hopefully, maybe in tomorrow's live stream to talk about stuff if I do feel up to it, but who knows? Who knows?